let's talk about the Seattle Seahawks. Rookie cornerback, Kima Siverin, cut for sneaking an Instagram model into the team hotel. Now, one, this lets you know that the teams are taking this incredibly seriously, right? It, it, did you hear how he tried to sneak her in? Yep. He put her into Seahawks gear and tried to pretend that she was another player that was coming in. And they still got caught. And you know they've got this on camera, right? They Why in the world have they not released it? TMZ Sports needs to be releasing this camera footage because I want I'm to see. I'm sure they're it. working on a deal right oh now to see if they God. get paid for the footage. Oh, I, they've got to release this so that we can see exactly how they dressed her up. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, man, you are a rookie. And, obviously, Quentin Dunbar, uh, he may be going to jail. So you had a shot to make this team. You had a shot to actually get in there and make a name for yourself. Yeah, this is a team that needs that needs a tight end. And, and well, not a tight end, but a quarterback. quarterback. A quarter, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm um, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I was but, thinking of the tight ends that got paid earlier. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, Siverin, yeah. of course, gone. So that's two cornerbacks gone for him and, and is what it is. But We're a long dude, way away from the Legion of Boom, aren't we? Uh, man, what are you doing? That was like the greatest backfield in, in like defensive backs that yes. we've ever seen maybe. Oh yeah, in one backfield, and now we are, I mean, just, struggling up there with Pete. <laughs> guys, just dropping like flies. Uh, so Siverin played at Texas A and M and Oklahoma State. Uh, I wouldn't imagine that the girls are any hotter in Seattle, but maybe I'm I don't crazy. know that it's a hotness thing. I think it's a she's there thing. Uh, you might be right, but man, I mean, you know, it gets lonely. It don't matter where you are in the world. Yeah. Uh, Michael jumps in. He said, by the way, I think Houston destroys OKC, but the CP3 and Westbrook thing will be fun to watch. Yeah, 100%. See, I never care about storylines when it comes to all this stuff because at the end of the day, all these guys are friends. Oh, yeah. They're all hanging out afterwards. That There was a day and a time when these dudes really hated one another where storylines were amazing. Those days are so far gone. Yes. There's, there's never a storyline that's going to get me into a series. Either I think the series is going to be great or I, or I don't, and that's – that's the way I care is. about the talent on the game. That I could care less about stories anymore now that I know all these guys are BFFs afterwards. Yes. Yes, you're right. Uh, Michael said, this just shows you can't fix stupid. Come on, man. You couldn't wait a few days. Uh, and then Mark said, that's funny, dressing her up. Yeah. 100%. Hey, man, we've all been lonely before. Hey, and by the way, like, things you that couldn't we wait a few days? Strictly because of we're horny dudes. Well, most of us, I'm guessing. Yeah. I, I would imagine most males, for the most part, you know, you, you I, have, I, right I can't mood. speak for all of y'all. I have done dumb things because I was a horny dude before. Yeah. I mean, most of us do. I mean, I, 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 hey, we have both. Now, it's married. never cost me a job or a chance to <laughs> to make a team in the NFL. Yeah, it's never cost a place that. where if you can play and perform and be good, you change your life and the life of your entire family. No, I've, it's, it's I've never, never been that. that. Never yeah. been that horny. Okay. Uh, especially now when Michael says you couldn't wait a few days, um, hey, you never know, man. This girl could be on – she could be in town for one night. I mean, you never know how these things work. But either way, uh, still not a smart idea. Not a smart uh, idea. Not what you want when you're uh, when you're a rookie trying to make a team. No, uh, Mark said, uh, I heard Coach O might be doing that. LOL, love it. Yeah. I mean, we'll see. Hey's a single man about town. You got that right. Yeah, he's been working out, too. Hey, lock up the single mamas when he's on the recruiting trail. You got that right. That is a charming man. You have got that right. All right, let's dive into the last topic of the day. We're jumping back into college football. 